Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today we are going to create isometric grids. So first things first, let's select the line segment tool and let's draw our first line. You can see I'm not creating a perfect line, so I'm gonna press shift. So it's gonna isolate perfectly uh, vertically. Release it, press V or select the selection tool. From here, I'm gonna press Alt and bring it to the right and press shift at the same time. So it's gonna isolate it perfectly, it doesn't move. It's gonna stick it there. Release it, press Control or Command D and it's gonna create copies. If you're pressing you know, Control D or Command D, if you press long, you're gonna create a lot of uh, lines. You can see here it's not aligned correctly. So I'm gonna press this little button right here, the vertical align center. Okay, and I'm gonna create, uh, press right click, press group, and now we're gonna press R. You can find it right here, the rotation tool. I'm gonna uh, press enter, or you can double click uh, on the rotation tool and add 60 degrees and press copy. All right, so we got this right here right now. We're gonna press again, double click, or press enter on this and we're going to create another copy and here you can see we had the isometric grids perfectly we're going to create some nice design made out of isometric grids and that is going to be a box that contains three e letters or letter e's or what is that first things first select the isometric grids press shift plus m or select from the menu the shape builder tool and this is the first thing that we're going to do to create the sides of the boxes and it looks something like this this is going to be the upper upper part of the box that is going to con uh, contain uh, one of the letter e's in perspective like this and from here we're going to go down and create this one which basically looks like an M by the way but uh, it's an abstract fo abstract form so you're gonna go like this on the right so we're gonna ungroup this on group once twice and I think this is also grouped or no nah I think we good yeah we got the uh, three and of course select all the lines that are with the box press alt so you can copy this and drag and press also shift now we got the box right here and now i'm going to create another copy and recolor this one i'm going to add some light color on this i'm going to make this darker a little bit have some nice contrast and make this even more darker with yeah this is good from here I'm gonna select this color and then select something more darker okay copy this color then I'm gonna copy paste this like that voila we got the boxes we got one with fill and we got one with only strokes so yeah this is kind of it thanks for watching hope it helped and don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye